Hey, what's up, guys? Walter Bear here. We have a question here from Jay Hines. Let's just get straight straight into it. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to the mailing list, the forum, and also, um, you know, to be awesome. So let's do this. And, uh, okay, Jay Hines here says, is there a rule for that when I'm running a melody that it has to be between an octave, right? So in case anyone doesn't know what an octave is, an octave, uh, is that when I'm playing a note, let's say this C, C right here, Okay, my next note, by the way, you're going to have to have to move up for this one, guys. Okay, all right, now when I'm playing this C right here, the next octave up or octave lower would, would still be the, be the C, but it would be 12 notes higher. So here's my next octave up, here's my next octave down. Okay, so here's my two octaves. So um, when I'm running a melody, he said, can I write a melody over the octave? Okay, and if the answer is, yeah, there are no rules in music at all. If you wanted your melody to be like this, It doesn't matter. It's all fair game. And, be, and besides, that sounded pretty cool. And maybe the fact that your music is played outside the octave, right, and breaks some rules, is maybe that's your gig. You know, maybe that's what you do. Maybe you you become the internet's uh, octave uh, uh, writer. You know, I don't know. It's it just that the idea is that there are no rules in music. And... Um, that's the beauty of it. So yeah, absolutely, you can break all the rules, you, and you can even make up a few on your way there. So uh, very cool stuff. Which is better, Jackson or an, an Ibanez? <sighs> Depends what you're looking for. Are you looking for lead or rhythm or death metal or you know what kind of amp do you have? Different th things like that. I like how he instantly just starts the little bit of an instant ADHD session, says Braille. Yo, there's a lot of love. Uh, thanks, man. Because sometimes it sounds funny. Walter, are you going to visit your family in Italy soon? Um, I'm not. I, I hope I do soon, though. Uh, Walt, my band has two guitar players and one drum set, says Mr. Muffins. That's awesome. Dirty Jersey says Central Jersey. Okay, send me the link, Dirty Jersey. You know, I'll, I'll, try, I'll try and see what's up. I'll try and make it. Is there... Okay, so now we're getting to that. If it's 12 notes, why is it an octave? Octave is 8. Okay, well, the octave is... The idea of why the octave is called an octave, whereas um, it's not called uh, a twelve-vidge or whatever, um, is that it's actually eight notes within the scale. So that when I walk up the scale, although it is twelve notes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then it continues. Okay, is that the reason why it's called eight? Because it's, it's actually eight within the scale. So, whereas my C pattern might have 12 notes in it, not my C pattern, but my, that, but my octave, 12 notes in it, within the scale, it's, it's, it's actually eight notes. Alright, and so that's why it's called an octave, because there's actually eight notes in the major scale, and you're going eight notes up. From where you started within the scale. How do you identify high note, high octave notes as compared to mid octave notes? Like what fret identifies with the A note in the staff without adding without adding extra lines? Okay, that's a good question. You're asking me in a piece of sheet music like this. Here's your treble clef, and here's the A. Which A? Where would I play that A on the on the guitar? This A right here is your open string A, which on the guitar is right here. Okay, and there it is. E A D G B E, and there's your A right there. Um, oh no, no, no! Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That A right here is the A on. I, I was looking at. I was thinking. This, is that is it's it's the A on the second fret of the G string. All right. So that's how that that's how that works. Well, all this music. I I move everywhere. If I go like this, I hear sound. Pitches. If I go like this, I hear sounds um, over there. If I move my chair, the back of my chair hits the piano. Okay, that's music. Music here, music there, music everywhere. 
All right, so music is everywhere, at least here in this studio, it's amazing. So that's the idea of where that A is right there. And then if you wanted your, your, your open string A, it would be here. Okay, that, that would be your open string A. Oh, I'm sorry. That would be your open string A would, would be the, the, uh, the note below or on your second le ledger line below the E. Okay. Da, let's see. All right, so let's keep this going. Walt, you got any tips on how to practice sight reading music? Practice it every single day. That's the trick. The trick is to love it, live it, love it, be passionate about it, teach it to someone, and do it every single day. And to take it slow, my, my man. You know, um, Korean dude, I'm telling you, patience is the key to life, okay? It's not just a virtue, right? It's a way of life. All right, so uh, I love bass octaves. It was a lot of love, my friend. Walt, my band has two guitars and one drum set. Would it be okay without a bass? Uh, yeah, what's a band without a bass player? Um, the White Stripes, they, you know, they don't have a bass player. Is it going to be there? Yoda, you'd like to blink. I'm going to juggle two this time. I might come on at eight. In five minutes, uh, I'll record the show and send you an MP3. Okay, definitely. You know, let me know. I'll you know I'll blog about it. Damn, this mosquito here. Really, they got green tea. I love mosquitoes. Coming after this, maybe one, maybe the water bottle. In about twenty minutes. Uh, nice mosquito hunting. Good vibration says Dirty Jersey. This, this ends at eight. Uh, it does end at, end at eight, but we're doing in uh, in outro. Send you a PM for detention info. Man, you're all about the detention info, man. You're all about it, bro. Use a metronome. Absolutely. Always cool. Thanks, Walt. Yeah. Yo, Korean. Absolutely. Like, that's what it, it's all about. You want to just take your time with the sight reading thing. And listen, here's how it works out with, with everything. Um, is that you learn a little bit every day. Okay? So today you learn eighth notes. Tomorrow you learn sixteenth notes. The next day you learn where this note is. Okay? Today you learned where this note is. The next day you learn what chord notes are. The next day you learn what a treble clef is. The next day you learn what a bass clef is. The next day you learn where to find them on the piano. The next day you learn where to find them on the, on, on the guitar. The next day uh, you learn how, how to write chords that out as sight reading. And so you do all this stuff every single day without fail. You do it every day. Okay? I do this show every day for an hour. You can do your practices for, for every day for 15 minutes. Don't tell me you can't, okay? And by the way, when I'm doing the show for an hour, it's only because what you see on screen. But I'm actually working on the show literally about 19, 20 hours a day. All right, so, um, you know, 15 minutes ain't going to kill you. But yeah, that's the trick. Every day, do it every day. And, uh, you know, it's difficult, it's difficult, but, but if it was easy, then everyone would be, good at it, would be good at it. And because you're one of my students, I know you got it. I know that you got what it takes. How do I know this? Because you're here in this class right now, which shows that you have the extra motivation that other people don't. So uh, I, I don't got a piano. Yeah, I would practice hours, but I don't, I don't have a piano. Well, listen. You've got to do something, man. If you want to learn, learn how to sight read, you're going to have to learn on an instrument. So learn how to sight read on the guitar. Okay? Go out, you know, mow a lawn or two, get your first guitar, rock it out, play it for your friends, meet cool people around your school, and do whatever you got to do. Walt, why did you cut an hour from the show? The reason why I cut an hour from the show is because the show is growing. I know that sounds counterproductive. But I know how this stuff works, and I had to scale back before I scale forward. Uh, do you have an album artwork for your music? I don't. Uh, I can send you some cool artwork that I, I've drawn. I, I, you know, I do. Okay, here. Email me at wribero4 at gmail.com, and let me know. Um, and just say, hey, Walt, it's Kzer. Send me the album artwork for your music, and I absolutely will do that. Um, can't find the Mikido. Yeah, I would practice uh, hours. Okay, okay. Whom I got 500 bucks. Hi, what's up? You streamer seven nine nine four eight. Uh, I've just been doodling sheet music and tabbing in it. Tablet software. I would like that. Thanks. Yeah, Kaiser. Thank you, bro. Uh, by the way, it's okay to mail me. I'm not going to add your email to a spam newsletter or anything. I will only add your news your your email to my email list if you strictly specifically say Walt. Well, Add me on the mailing list. I hear it's awesome, um, and uh, I, I want to be part of it. That's the only way that I'll do it. That's the only way.